you know to me i think like attention is worthless you know a lot of people don't really see that but like you see the reasons why you pay attention to things and you don't it's hard to really break or break away from paying attention to shit and really giving it that credit because you look at something and then you're like oh this gives me something oh that gives me something oh this gives me something oh that gives me something and it's really you know you know the only way to really get away from that is to like pay attention to yourself and be able to create stuff and do stuff and that's that's the only really like real way to get away from it but if you're okay with paying attention to someone else and you know kind of living in in, in their world then, then then you know it's really it's really simpler it's it's really simple like it's just like hey i just like i just like the i just like the the feeling i get and all this shit and you know so really i mean if you really think about it, and i heard some like director talking about uh how, how they're like you know there's different people you know i think it's cringe so certain people are cringe they got a cringe personality and uh you know i can understand that i can relate to that like i can see why there's a thing because some people you know obviously you know some people like two people can do the same exact things and just get totally different results you know and so i don't really like calling people cringe but you know i guess it's just a thing where it's just like oh yeah people are cringe and, and when people say it's trash something's trash they're not trying to say oh yeah you're trash like in the way that like you're just a piece of shit or whatever and sometimes they are but it's, not, it's like this is this is trash like this this whole like what you're doing and what you believe and everything it, it's just you know it's just bullshit you know like like get real you know, so I kind of think that there, you know, I don't really know. I mean, it's it's basically like it's a bunch of trolling and, and all this shit. And you got to break away from that. You know, what what I found out is I can do jokes on my own, right? I can pull a joke out of fucking thin air. Like I'm a fucking, magi like I'm a joke magician. And like, you know, I, lot of, I know a lot of people are like, you know, they try to be like, man, this guy's really talking himself up. He really has got an ego and all this. Like, I guess so. I guess so. You know, I guess so. But is there really anything wrong with that? Like, if I'm really trying to make... Like, dude, there's there's just like people that have like shitty, terrible lives. Like, they might be like a heroin junkie or something. Or like some shit like that. But they still are like... Like, they can be, be a fan of something. You know what I'm saying? They can still be a fan of something. Like, they can still appreciate something even though their life is just all fucked up and you know it's like there's no way out and shit and it sucks because like you know when i really take a look at all that i don't really feel like i'm different than anybody else and i understand the reason why people do drugs and shit and people just kind of get drunk or you know people just kind of like do these things that they do they just kind of like play a bunch of play a bunch of girls or whatever they, that that's what their life's about so your life is about these different things but like personally i think that a lot of the things are just kind of like popularized and they're kind of like turned into this overdrawn like sensational bullshit like 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 a pop star like showing her showing herself off right you know and, and it, it sends a message like hey be more attractive like put effort in like look at this person putting forth all this effort to get paid and you know some people you go look at them on it's like dude what where are you where's your head at like you you don't really because that's the thing is a lot of time people have a problem like that and they don't really know and they don't care and it's a lot of work to try to look good it's a lot of it's a lot of work to try to look good man like it takes a lot of work and so when you start thinking about like attention and shit it's like you you know like it's like as long as you believe you're beautiful or you're whatever the fuck you are then why does it matter what the fuck i think you know what i'm saying now if i don't like you and you like me or vice versa like i like you you know you like you know you, that you know you just have to be okay with that be like hey, okay well this person you know you know and, and that's the thing too is you know a lot of people that are just like the area they live in or the things that they're doing like me like i'm i'm very fucking isolated and that's part of my problem and a lot of it you know like any human encounter comes with a risk and shit you know what i'm saying and that's why you just gotta go into player mode man 
you gotta go into like i hate to say it but that's what you gotta do man you gotta go into player mode you gotta fucking do it i don't know how you're gonna do it but you have to but you have to do it right right because you know you're gonna get labeled a sexual harassment don't harass people like you get the you get the you get the you get this then just give up man and i know that see the problem is people get an obsession because they're like this one person they become focused in it they give the they get that attention on that one person and it's just like dude really really like re like really look at like it's cool like like yeah man like especially if someone like like you can work yourself up over time too because sometimes like you're really good at it or like you're putting in energy to like really come off really not like nice and shit, like good because people do it all the time like they'll starve themselves man like they'll, they'll they'll literally like they don't eat for nothing other than that like they could not stand to be fucking fat like even if they were like one pound overweight you know like like they have a whole different ideal of what it is to be overweight which you know some people just die anyway you know they might die of a drug overdose or some shit like that so it's like well shit you know why why, why care so much about being fat when you know you're just gonna fucking die anyway and you know and, and what i was trying to say is sex can just be this overrated big thing you know that's just another distraction like it's just it's all a distraction like everything we look at is a fucking distract sex is a, it's, it's a distraction it doesn't even matter like you're like you're so upset but if look at look at that the human mind how you're like you look at something or someone and you just think of them as so wow they're so attractive in this shit and it's like you were, we're victims to that man that's what you don't like a lot of people don't understand like and and uh you know it's like a person being more pretty so they get more they're more privileged pretty privileged you know and and and, and that's another thing too that's another issue that that we face that we don't even we don't even fucking pay attention to this shit man you know we we don't really see it that way we don't really it's like racism or or the whole fat thing but fat is becoming see fat is starting to transition out of the hate you know more it's like it's like racism like racism is probably a head of fatness like hey, fatness is probably but but um you know ugliness is probably behind fatness too because it's like a widely accepted thing like people even tell you like hey i'm ugly hey i suck and that's probably behind that and it's a whole social theory so what i'm trying to say is when i say behind it is as we move forward in time as history changes we become more aware of the things that we're doing to each other and how it's immoral it's not right to do those things to each other so eventually the theory is that eventually you'll get we'll get to our society our civilization will get to a point right where all of these things are implemented into our way of life but where does that get us because if you look at all of these different things they're all based on equality but they're based on the value of your quality and your equality in your skill or what you have as far as quality it's basically quality right because ugliness pretty that's like a quality thing it's a quality of a person racism quality of a person so they're all judgments based on what we think an ideal person should or shouldn't be, right? But it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. But people get wrapped up in so many things that they're paying, and, and you know, money, sex, whatever you're paying attention to, the ideology behind that is kind of an illusion. But it's also, you, we as human beings, we want to separate ourselves with that illusion because it makes us feel something to have a legacy it makes us feel something to be an individual but what people need to realize is they can be an individual and they can draw attention to themselves they can do what they want and sometimes it's not really about drawing attention it's not about fame it's not about popularity and you embrace that individuality without having any of that shit that you do. you really realistically is just bullshit anyway right but really you know a lot of it is about sending a message man you know so a lot of this stuff if you know it's like and that's what a lot of the the shit that's what a lot of shit is about like look at the way i do it and you'll see how 
you want it to be in your mind how it plays out like you'll see the 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 mind the your mind bend in the right way to be like hey that was that was enjoyable that was i like this you know what i'm saying so that's what it's really about it's about showing you hey i'm an example look at me and do it like this right that's basically it like hey man check it out but that's what you should be doing you should be hey check it out you know what i'm saying <laughs> and you know i think that like like viewers a lot of viewers the only thing they're searching for are things that are going to give them money or you know because they think oh, well you know get the money you, you get laid more you know all this shit you know and, and there is a there's a lot of truths to a lot of this different shit so for me to like defuse it i live in the world i live in this time i can look ahead i can look 500 years in the future and look at all the social shit we got going on now and that's a, that's a hard thing to do because you have to look at politics you have to look at business you have to look at you know a lot of these different controversial things you have to look at the socialism it's a social science you know it's a study of human beings so for really to do, do to do that it's not an easy thing to do i mean you had to have a lot of things into consideration and honestly i mean you could be completely fucked people have been you know there's been really, really smart people that have been wrong even though there's been a lot of smart people that have been right and changed the world there's also been a lot of smart people that have been completely duds completely just idiots or you know whatever you want to say i mean maybe they weren't complete idiots but you know they you know they turn out to be wrong or they turn out to be just like, what, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck are they, what the fuck was this guy even fucking? Why are you doing this, man? Why are we doing this shit, man? Is it really worth it? And that's what you got to think, man. A lot of times is, is it really worth it? And then you get into like the, the, you know, that dynamics of different countries and all that shit. That shit's fucking nuts. I mean, a lot of that stuff's fucking crazy. Because you got like different systems of government, like over here, this this is communist, this is capitalist, this is socialist. You got all these, man. It's just a completely different, you know. We don't own that land over there. We can look at it, we can observe it, we can criticize it, we can do whatever the fuck we want. But at the same time, you know, we're just gonna be over here, and we're, you know, we're gonna have to, you know, and you know, you know, honestly, I. I am completely grateful to live here. I am completely like, I am like completely like, just like, you know, and, and, <clears throat> I, I am so grateful and thankful to live here and to be able to do this because you know, a lot of time, even if someone's, it's like someone saying some bullshit online, right? Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck how good or bad they are? You can't sit here and be like, oh yeah, this person's this or that. Or that. Like what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Like, you know, it, it, it gets to a point where it's like, what the fuck, dude? Like, you got some serious issues. Like, like a lot of people, they have serious mental issues they don't know, and they have to grow up. They have to they have to experience life to, to, to realize that they aren't... They aren't the center of the fucking universe and shit like that, man. It's like, damn. It's like, damn, dude. And, and there, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of decisions that have to be made. You know, there's a lot of things that go into that. So... With that, I don't want to be a part of someone's rampage. You know, I don't want to be some, a part of someone's psychotic mumbling that they won't even remember five years from now, you know? <sighs> I, I don't see this as psychotic, by the way. I, I think I'm a very, very agile individual with a very agile mind. I take di daily vitamins, damn it. Okay, make sure to turn in next time. I don't know if there's going to be a next time. This crazy world, man. This crazy world. Holy shit!